Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft. So, yeah, it has been a while, and I apologize for that. It's been about two weeks. Oh, oh that was what I actually wanted. Yeah, been about two weeks. Oh. And, well... A couple things have occurred during that two weeks. Oh, perfect. One of which, and probably the most detrimental, is I had a wasp nest. Oh, that's not where I want that. Want that. Yeah, had a nice little wasp nest sitting just above our outside door. That didn't work. And yeah, our landlord came to fix it, I guess. He decided he was just going to spray it. Now, the wasp nest, I should explain, was not just above the door. The wasp nest was actually in the wall behind the door, which is not a good place for it. It was not visible. It was not accessible so generally spraying that uh, normal wasp killer stuff isn't gonna work and I knew this and now well, landlord decided to do it anyway and as expected it did nothing <laughs> it killed a bunch of them it really it did it killed a bunch of the ones that were outside pissed off a bunch of others they came out so they died but this wasp nest was massive. Like, I don't know exactly how big it was, but I'm pretty sure that this thing has come into the house. Uh, oh, so close. And was actually, oh, nice was actually sitting, I, I think it's actually in the floorboards. Oh, that needs to go here. And I need leggings. Oh crap. So that, that, that oh so close uh let's do oh i had that backwards let's do that that and that that was the wrong one oh no i have to think i hate thinking so do that 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 but let's get you over here that, that, and that. Damn it. So, yeah, this thing was massive. Just utterly massive. As, as far as I know, they ended up calling an exterminator who came in and used a powder. It's a, it's a pesticide, but it's a dry pesticide. It doesn't act as a repellent at all which a lot of the spray on ones, they act as a repellent, which is not something you want to do with wasps that are in the wall. These are things that I have learnt from my many, many hours reading on the interwebs. And yeah, exterminator guy came and when he put the stuff on, they, they came out. I actually have a picture of it. I believe I posted it on Twitter. Uh, if I can find it, I will put it up right about now. And you can't really tell much because my camera decided to uh, sort of focus on the screen. I was inside cowering like a little bitch with a skinned knee. So, yeah, I was hanging out of our bay window and just watching as the guy sprayed this crap on it. Uh, what do we got? We've done... 
done that. You know what? Let's bring this over. That. That. No. That. That. Nope. That. That. And that. Oh, so close. So, yeah. Um... Oh, what the? All right. I'll accept that, sure. Um, so well, as, as he did it, just swarms around him. He didn't care. He was in his, his uh, little beekeeper outfit. So he was, he was cool. That took all of like five minutes. And they swarmed like that for like two hours. It was kind of impressive, but we just kind of stayed inside, didn't go anywhere. But after about two hours, they were gone. They were pretty much gone. There were a few hanging out here or there. That that powder stuff, like if, if uh, anyone has wasps, I highly, highly recommend the powder if you can get it. From what I understand, you can get it like, you can just buy it in the pest control aisle at your local store in the U.S., but in Canada, it is controlled, so you can't, because we apparently don't like pesticides, and this is, like, the only stuff that works. It's, uh, kind of, kind of sick. Uh... Let's do you, 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 you. Damn it. Screwed that one up. Uh, but all in all, yay, got my greaves. All in all, I, I, I'm quite happy with the, the the way things have progressed. They've uh, they're they're pretty much dead. It, it's been a few days now that they have been they have been dead. Screw you, door. Thought that was a skeleton for a second. I guess I could put these on. Hey, look at me. I am one sexy bitch with my Luigi hat kind of hanging out. Uh, excellent. Uh, we had... Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, we ended up... When, one time when we went out, this was about three or four days after the treatment. We came back and there was a big big mother wasp like if a regular wasp is the size of this block this wasp well do this so that's a regular wasp that was this wasp <laughs> that i'm pretty sure that was the queen i'm pretty sure that the queen was uh taken out and tried to escape the nest but kind of failed miserably. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that was the queen. And then we have no more queen. That would be ideal. Uh, unfortunately, one thing that I was not aware of. What do I have in here that can't be? Eight. Ah, uh, the cheese. It's always the bloody cheese. I'll just eat the cheese. Do I have any more cheese? I don't think I have any more cheese. No more cheese! No! Alright. Anyway. One thing that they didn't say was that there was going to be a smell. But I have a feel. Oh, there's a donkey. I have this strange feeling that they didn't actually know that there was going to be a smell. Because they probably didn't know that it came into the house. 
You're, you're a dude. You're a dude. Did he just leave me mails? Oh, what a guy. What a guy. I, I think that's actually pretty much full. So if I do that. Oh, no. I need one more milk. So let's see if we can find Witten's uh, cow farm thing. Doohickey. So, yeah, there's a delightful smell. If anybody's ever had a, like, dead rat or something in their ductwork, or, well, anybody who's smelled a rotting carcass of something, you, you might be familiar with that smell. It's, it's pretty gross. Cow horse. Pretty damn gross. And that is the smell that we have coming in our house from this rotting wasp nest. And I was doing some reading on it, and turns out that definitely is from the rotting wasp nest. Get out of here. Whoops. And it's basically because it's so late in the season... Oh, random ingot. Because it's so late in the season, they basically had laid their last brood. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't actually know what the proper name for a, uh, well, wasp nest batch of eggs, whatever. I'm calling it a brood because it seems right. Well... The last batch is the new queens, which I was reading, and apparently they can have up to 1,500 queens per nest, which is fucking ridiculous. There we go. We will seal up you and fill you up. There we go. So that's just shy of half full. There we go. So this will eventually make us some more cheese. And cheese is delicious. Love cheese. Anyway. So, yeah. That's that's going to be great. Um, I'm kind of hoping that that is what the smell is. the Just the last batch dying. Because if the last batch is dead and that queen that we saw outside that I squished is actually the queen. It's only just drones at this point. Which isn't a big deal. I don't know why I'm standing in the water when I can just do that. So I'm I'm actually quite happy that they're gone. We have I've seen I think one or two wasps flying around outside near the entrance, but I haven't seen any go in and out of the entrance. So I'm not sure if those happen to be leftovers. Or if they're from another nest that happens to be close by. I'm really not entirely sure. But as long as I don't see them go in, I don't actually care. They, they can continue on with their merry little way. I'm not in the habit of killing, you know, bugs when they're not doing something inappropriate. A.K.A. you stay out of my house, I'll stay out of yours. But they were in my house. And they actually were getting into the house. What am I doing? Forgot what I was doing. Alright, let, let's actually put this stuff away. And, you know what? Since we're here, might as well clear this out. So yeah, that was, that, that was an interesting bit. That took quite a while. Quite a while to get that taken care of. Unfortunately, we also... The biggest problem is we didn't see it. We did not see it until later in the season. It's only been maybe a month or so that we actually saw it, which is kind of dumb. I'm not sure why we didn't notice it. I guess we just don't look up. It's just really weird. But, you know, once the wasps start getting into the house and you see them, like, I've had a couple in my office here and it's not, not, not cool. Especially when you've got a cat that's really curious with bugs. 
And we've been especially diligent since the poison. Because if they're getting in the house, and they're getting in the house, and they're covered in this poison, you don't want your cat to be, you know, trying to eat them. You don't want your cat eating wasps anyway. God. I, I, I don't know if cats can be allergic to wasps, or if, even, if they're even affected by them. But if, I don't want to think about it. Like, the vet bill would be astronomical, I think. And the wailing. Oh, the wailing. But luckily, as far as I know, he has not eaten anything. He's, he's not shown any signs of pain or illness or anything. He has been his regular whiny-ass self. So I think we're good. I think we're good with that. I really do. Uh, in Terra Firmacraft news, the new version should be coming out any time now. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm kind of hoping for the new uh, Build 79. And then we, we will reset the world as we always do and start fresh. That will be nice. I will thoroughly enjoy that. I, I like the starting. Once I get to this part where it's it's not so much a difficulty thing, it's just so much repetition. It's just the same thing over and over and over again. That's when I tend to... Oh, I guess I can't really use that yet. That's when I tend to get bored. So... And I don't generally think of it. Uh, in other news, you if you've been watching my Space Engineers series, you probably noticed that it has kind of uh, gone away. Roughly around the same time this did. <laughs> this went away for a different reason. This was just me not thinking about going on and doing other things. Whereas Space Engineers, I have tried to go on there, and I I get on there, five minutes later, I actually feel sick. For some reason, it is severely triggering my motion sickness. It's, it's just, just insane. I've, I don't think I have ever had that many problems with a game like so quickly I've, I've had other games that cause a lot of motion sickness but generally i can play them for you know 20 minutes or so without feeling severely nauseous but space engineers and it's just recently i'm not sure if it's a patch if it's my computer or if it's just me but it's just recently that it's really caused that. I've actually been pretty okay with it up until, you know, I guess uh, two weeks ago. So I'm hoping that that sorts out. I'm kind of waiting until the next patch, see if that rectifies it. Um, if not, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Because I really do enjoy that game. It is a fun game. It definitely is. But I, I, I can't do something that, you know, makes me sick in five minutes. Oh god, it would take me forever. I've been trying to get on there and do a little bit at a time, but it just... Five minutes is not enough. Not enough time to do anything. But, whatever. Uh, also started a tug series. If you haven't seen that, I've got two videos up. Right now I'm aiming for one video a week. I don't know how often I'll be able to do them aside from that, but that's my goal is one a week. Uh, planning for Fridays, so another one will be coming up. Uh, what else? A bunch of games, bunch of games have come out. Bunch of things have happened. Uh, I should probably write things down before I start recording. But otherwise, I think my biggest event of, you know, the last 
two weeks has been the wasps. Uh, yeah. Supposed to get a fence. I was actually supposed to get a fence uh, two Mondays ago. Yeah, two Mondays ago. I was supposed to have fence posts put in. That has not occurred, and I don't know what the deal is with it. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. But, uh, I'm going to finish chopping these down, put this stuff up, and I think I'm going... Oh, for fuck's sakes, me. God damn it. Stab you in the face. In the face! Alright. Well, I think we're doing okay. I do think we're doing okay. Whee! It's getting to that point where uh, stores and whatnot are going to start playing Christmas music if they haven't already. Because, you know, that's what you do before Halloween. Fucking hell. It's getting earlier and earlier every god damn year. Do I want... I'm not going to keep this leather. Go away, go away. Apparently I'm just going to throw it on top of myself. Sure. Why not? Uh, it's not that I hate Christmas. I hate commercialized Christmas. And I hate Christmas music because it's not, it's not like the good Christmas music. It's the like screechy, whiny, irritating, annoying, modern Christmas music based off of the old classics, but then severely ruined by, you know, the modern pop stars that can't sing and rely primi primarily on auto-tuning and other gimmicks. Yeah, I'm bitchy. <laughs> I am tremendously bitchy, and I am aware of it. I really am. But I just can't stand it not stand modern Christmas music. I think the most modern Christmas song I actually like is Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And I can't listen to that because the boss hates it. My Madam Steffer 11 despises that song so much. And I find that greatly offensive because, well, I like the song. I think it's a great song. And I think it is a perfect Christmas song because who doesn't love reindeer? You know, everybody loves reindeer, right? Especially Rudolph. Fucking Rudolph's awesome. All right. Anyway, enough of my babbling. I've, I've done what I came to do. I need to wait for those willows to grow. And I don't really know why, because I have so much coal now, charcoal. But whatever, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And hopefully soon we can get a new Terra Firmacraft world. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Nice start off fresh with all new things. It looks really, really cool. It looks like it's uh, coming along quite nice. But anyway... Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, or add me to your Google Plus circles. I also have a Patreon campaign going on. Feel free to support me on there if you so desire.